Hey guys, Samantha the Card Girl here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here for Ethony Dawn's 31 Days of Tarot 2020 for day 12. And it's not as warm as it was yesterday. In fact, I can see my breath uh, <clears throat> tonight. Or yesterday, it was just gorgeous. And I know it's later too, but um, I'm doing this this way. I've got a little mini ring light attached to my phone, but you can still see the moon. Um, and we're still <clears throat> in... Um, full moon energies a little bit <clears throat> so uh, I thought I would do this out here and see if we can't get a good glimpse of it if the clouds would move right um, so anyway the prompt for today is <clears throat> sorry I'm holding my phone too so I can't really take a sip of water um, but the prompt for today is <clears throat> okay the prompt for today is the um, Sorry. <laughs> the I don't remember how it's worded, but basically your most your the divination tool outside of tarot that you use the most in 2019. Um, and for me, that is my clear quartz pendulum. I'm gonna stop it from swinging. And I don't know if I can get it to focus. Again, I'm kind of doing this one-handed, but. This pretty little bead is a Murano glass piece, and I actually added that myself. Um, <clears throat> it's like just the right size. I hold it with my fingertips. But, um, yep, I used this the most 2019 for, generally for finding portals with it um, <clears throat> and detecting, as I, I lost the moon. Um, anyway, <laughs> detecting portals with it and um, <clears throat> looking for exit and entrance portals um so because um there's a website that i found on portals and using reiki energy i've learned how to um <clears throat> close them but they say that if you find an exit portal that's a portal that spirits can obviously only exit through um <clears throat> they cannot enter it so I have read that you don't want to close those, but um, entrance portals or open portals, whatever you want to call it, the spirits can come through regularly and any type of spirit or energy initially, um, <clears throat> those you do want to close if you, um, you know, don't want activity in your house. Um, so basically, I would walk around holding my pendulum, different spots of the room, if the pendulum swings clockwise, <clears throat> that is an open um, or exit entrance or entrance portal, sorry. And then if it swings counterclockwise, that's an exit. So um, being a ghost hunter, I, I have done also a lot of clearings and stuff, but it's interesting. You know, I've actually been able to, with this pendulum, I've had people say, People get really, really dizzy in this spot and put my pendulum over it and sure enough, it's right in the middle of a portal. Um, so it's come in handy and I really love it. Um, you know, I do love my sortery and my ruined stones and um, <clears throat> reading with stones and crystals too, but I find that it's not, it's not really in high demand like tarot is and the pendulum. People are very, very fascinated by this little thing and, you know, people will watch me do it. I have friends who have seen it work. Um, so it's really, really fascinating. But I am so sorry that the moon went away for us. Completely gone now. But um, I'm going to get back inside because my arm is going to fall off. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day 13. Bye!